Okay, guys, this week's technique of the week is going to be the guillotine choke defense, number 43. I'm inside the guard, and uh, I make a mistake, and my partner is able to grab the guillotine choke. Right when I feel he's starting to come in, I'm going to take the hand on the side that he's got over the head. I'm going to go four fingers in. When I grab this, I like to make sure I'm getting part of the wrist and part of the hand here. If I'm too far on the wrist, he still has the ability to manipulate his hand and dig for the choke. If I can get a little bit over the hand also, he starts to move his hand around. Limits his ability to keep digging for that choke. And then this elbow right here, if it is on top of his knee, he has the ability to raise that knee against my elbow upward. So he pushes my elbow upward. If he does that, it kills my hand. And he can still do the choke. So when I put my four fingers in, I have to have this elbow on the inside of that knee. And I would like to get the free arm over his neck as he sits back. Like that. Now I'm gonna come up on my feet and I want to put weight into his jaw. But I'm not going to drop the shoulder down on the jaw. I'm going to take that shoulder joint, drop it on his chest, and then drive up into his jaw. Also, when I lay the forearm behind his head, I'm going to lay it laid up like this so that I get a cutting motion between my shoulder and my forearm. And I'm going to apply pressure into my partner. As soon as I get the pressure on the head, I feel him start to relax a little bit on the choke. I use that elbow, and I want to work his feet down and make space. And I'm going to sit out to the side. As soon as I sit out, I'm going to control this knee. And I'm going to take my left foot and step on his leg like that. Thread the needle. Before I release the leg, I'm going to place the hand next to the hip. I'm coming up from side control. Once I'm here, you'll see that he still has control of the head if he hasn't let go. And my head is sideways. That's not good for me. It's a bad position. I'm going to grab the top knee, pull it toward me, and turn him on his side. Push my head forward so that I can get my chin around his back and turn my chin down. Come back. If he pulls in now, it just goes right into the rib cage. And I'm going to, from this position, if he's still holding on, four fingers into the armpit, place the, my forearm across his neck, and I'll kick the leg straight on that side and drop my weight into the jaw. Usually that will make the release and I can step over. I'm still controlling the knee as I step over. Post, block, and control the head. with the arm off.